Okay, I am here today with a new version because there were some problems with the old version that I didn't like very much. Um, namely, that it wasn't very stable and wanted to tip over and fall apart. So, here's a new version which I like a lot. It took me about two or three hours to do and um, what it's made out of is a piece, of, a 10 foot piece of three quarter inch steel conduit which costs maybe about five bucks at the hardware store and you'll see instead of that box we had on the last one there are two crossbars they're clamped with uh, the same clamps that you would buy in the hardware store right next to where the right next to where that conduit is and they're used to put them on the wall right Okay, and then this, the piece up front, which is a steering bar, um, I changed on this one to just be a 1x2 instead of a 2x2. Two two. I don't know if that's super smart because it's weaker, but, you know, it's a parade. It doesn't have to go that far. But the real innovative breakthrough on this design are these angle brackets. On the last version, we had a, a cross bracket back here on the forks. And that was one of the problems is that the bikes really want to go, you know, side to side a lot when you're turning corners and stuff like that so the angle brackets helps prevent that from happening basically it's more conduit so if you if you cut it two and a half on these two and a half on the cross pieces and then eight and then make these angle brackets uh out of what's left over and the only monkey around with those was down here with this clamp which i had to like bend around and make it fit. So this is all, we took it around for a test drive and it works pretty good so um, and it's I think easier to build than the other one. You do want to get a metal bit for your for your drill so that you can drill through all this metal. Uh, but other than that, pretty straightforward and a hacksaw. Alright.